Well, it's a very important day. So we're leading the broadcast now, a little bit of history, history to, uh, so impactful to the whole world, especially these United States. It's remembering D-Day, 80 years since the largest air-sea land invasion ever. Allied forces led by the United States pummeling German strongholds held along the French beaches of Normandy along the English Channel. A must win for the future of the world and allied forces through WW2. Some 4,400 Americans died there on those beaches that day, coming out of those amphibious vehicles onto the sand into Lord knows what. And now 80 years uh, later, that liberation effort is still revered by the French who live in and around Normandy in some of those smaller towns. Uh, we were there five years ago. We were there during the 75th anniversary of D-Day and kind of thinking back and having memories of that. We took a trip to a small French town, St. Mary Glace, one of the spots we went. It was a pivotal spot during D-Day. American veterans of D-Day who go there uh, during uh, these remembrances and during this anniversary, it's, it's like a migration of, of a rock star uh, treatment there. Uh, they're thanked and asked for autographs and to pose for pictures, just like Irving Locker, who you see on your screen. Look, I mean, they, they've got pictures of the man and he's signing autographs. He is a legitimate celebrity over there, as are all the veterans of D-Day who flock to France at this time of year. And this one, please. Uncle Eric, let, let me hold it so you I can don't know sign why it's not it. Doing it. Absolutely wonderful. I went in on D-Day, went through the Battle of the Bulge, stopped at the Elbe River, then I went into Berlin. Really? So I'm very, very happy. So Mr. Locker was 94 then. That was uh, five years ago. And yeah, uh, he's, he's still with us to this day. Yeah, he's 99 years old now, and he was from Jersey, but has now, of course, flocked down to Florida and is living his best life in the villages right now. Yeah, how about that? Very, very cool. And to learn more about D-Day, we did a documentary about it all and our trip five years ago during the 75th anniversary. But there's a lot of history in that. And uh, you want to check it out on the day like today for sure. A very special presentation is going to be airing live uh, this morning, 9 a.m. Just check out the First Coast News Plus app. You can get that on Roku or any of your uh, smart TVs. J download that First Coast News Plus app and you can check that out at 9 a.m. And then again tonight at 9 p.m. Katie?